Hello dear friends, myself Dr. Shrikant Verma, MBBS MD Anatomy. So here, now we are going to start the lower limb portion. Yes, we will draw the images on the board also, but because due to the lack of the time, I am directly starting the conversation, discussion on the lower limb top topic. Okay, so yes, just see the lower limb part, just like the upper limb, we can divide the lower limb into the parts. Do you remember the upper limb part we have divided into the pectoral region, back, scapular region, arm, forearm and hand. In the same manner, you have to divide the lower limb into the few segments. Yes, what are the few segments of the lower limb? Yes, can you see the lower limb, it can be divided into the thigh from the hip joint up to the knee joint. This part is known as thigh from the knee joint up to the ankle joint. Yes, this part is known as the leg. And from ankle joint up to the next, this part is known as the foot. So yes, the lower limb can be divided into the three points. Yes, lower limb can be divided into three parts. You can write down, prepare your notes along with this video. Three parts of the lower limb. What are the three parts? Thigh. Next one is the leg. Next one is the foot. So these are the three parts. Now, just we have to apply the Hilton law, just like the section of the upper limb. If you have not seen these video, just go through the upper limb video and then follow this lower limb video. Okay. So again, I am telling you just like the upper limb video, the thigh, we have to cut the thigh. In the upper limb, we have seen there is the skin, superficial fascia, deep fascia, then muscle and then bone. And the arm was divided into the two compartment, anterior compartment and posterior compartment. But here in the thigh part, can you see I am showing you, showing you the demo. Yes, this thigh part which is extending from the hip up to the knee. This is the thigh. You are dissecting upper layer is the skin. Then after this upper layer skin, you will get the superficial fascia. Yes. What is the superficial fascia? Condensation of the loose connective tissue, loose aerial tissue just below the skin is known as the superficial fascia. And yes, remember this superficial fascia is loaded with the cutaneous nerve end vessels. Yes. Cutaneous nerve end vessels are situated in the superficial fascia. Now, remember, within the superficial fascia, cutaneous nerve end vessels are situated here. In superficial fascia, the longest vein of our body is also situated, which is the great saphenous vein. Break the name, great big saphenous. The meaning of the saphenous is easily seen. Yes. What is the meaning of the saphenous? Saphenous means easily seen. So, longest vein of the body. Great saphenous vein. It is situated in the superficial fascia and lots of other vessels and the nerves are also. We will see later. And after this superficial fascia, you will get one thick condensation of the connective tissue below the superficial fascia. What should be the name? Yes, deep fascia. Skin, superficial fascia, then you are getting the deep fascia. And yes, remember the deep fascia of the thigh is known as fascia lata. Yes, what you have to remember? What is the fascia lata? The deep fascia of the thigh is known as fascia lata. Okay. So, after this, when you will remove this fascia lata, you will get the muscle. Okay. Yes. Here, in the thigh, the deep fascia, it is sending the septa. There are the septa. There are the septa. So, these septa are dividing the thigh into the three compartments. Do you remember the arm was having the two compartments, but the thigh, it is having the three compartments. So now what are the three compartments of the thigh? Yes, anterior compartment, then posterior compartment and last one is the medial compartment. Three compartments in the thigh. What are three compartments? Entry compartment, write down this one. Thigh is having three compartments. Entry compartment, next posterior compartment and last medial compartment. Again, this Posterior compartment is divided into the two parts. What are the two parts? Yes, this is the gluteal region and this is the back of the thigh. Yes, gluteal region and the back of the thigh. So yes, these are the divisions of the thigh. So now in the next video, we will discuss each compartment along with the Hilton law, along with the muscles. So yes, we have started the videos on the lower limb. So just like, share, subscribe the videos for the improvement of the medical education. Thank you very much. We will meet soon again in the next video for the lower leg.
Thank you. Subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for notification on our simplified medical and motivational videos.